Hello everyone, we are going to solve exercise one, uh, page 12 on your book, and it is uh, a generalizing exercise. When we want to uh, record transactions on the journal, we have to know very well the uh, normal balance of the accounts. And uh, we know that the accounts that have debit normal balance are assets, expenses, and dividends. So these accounts increase in debit and decrease in credit. The accounts that have credit normal balance are revenues, liabilities, and capital stock. These accounts have a credit normal balance, so, so they are increase in uh, uh, credit and decrease in debit. Let's start uh, by the first transaction. March 1, invested $20,000 cash in the business and exit change of common stock. So, in this exercise, we received the $20,000 cash, so the, the cash account increases and we received uh, this cash an exit change of common stock uh, 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 this means that we uh, have issued common stock in the market so the capital stock will increase so since cash increase cash is asset has a debit normal balance so it should be recorded in debit 420 and uh, the capital stock increased so uh, capital has a credit normal balance so it, it increases in credit twenty you know that we record uh, in the first line the debit account and in the next line and intended a little as you see the uh, second account which is in credit uh, side uh, the debit uh, uh, the amount of the debit account should be recorded in, the, in debit and uh, the amount of the credit account should be recorded in credit column so uh, this transaction was in may first may 3rd purchased a uh, golf land for fifteen thousand dollars the price consists of land for twelve thousand shed for two thousand and equipment for one thousand and uh, they, these uh, items uh, were purchased for cash in this account we have lead shed and equipment these are fixed assets are increasing when we purchase uh, an asset so the assets uh, uh, will be increased and we pay cash so the cash amount the cash account decreased so uh, land shed and equipment are fixed assets so they have debit normal balance uh, when they are uh, uh, increasing they will be recorded in debit so we have land in debit we have shed and we have equipment in credit we pay cash so uh, the uh, cash account will be decreasing cash is an asset so it will be recorded in credit the amount of land is 12 for shed 2 and for equipment 1 12 2 and 1000 for equipment the sum will be recorded as cash so uh, we uh, we uh, paid 12 plus 2 plus 1 we paid 15 in cash may 5 Paid advertising expense for 700. So we are incurring expense in this date. So uh, the expenses are going to be increased. And we have uh, we have a payment. We uh, made a payment. We, so we paid cash. So the cash will decrease. Uh, all expenses have a uh, debit normal balance. So when we incur expense, we uh, have to record the expense in debit. Uh, advertising expenses uh, are considered as uh, expenses. So we have advertising expense in debit.
and in credit since uh, we pay uh, we pay for uh, this expense we have to record cash and credit so cash is decreasing uh, the amount was 700 May 6 Paid cash 600 for one year insurance policy. So uh, we paid cash, so the cash is decreasing as well. However, we paid 600 uh, cash for one year insurance policy. Uh, the one year insurance policy uh, is not uh, expense, it is a prepaid expense. So we have prepaid insurance. Why uh, we use the prepaid insurance and not the insurance expense? Because uh, we uh, we purchased a one year insurance policy, so we purchased a, an insurance policy uh, in advance for future period to be used in future. So uh, since we pay in advance, the amounts in advance, so we have a prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance is considered as assets, so it has debit normal balance. So it will be recorded in debit when uh, we purchase a prepaid insurance. And we have in credit cash, since cash is decreasing and cash has debit normal balance, when it is decreasing, it will be recorded in credit. The amount of this insurance policy was 600. May 10. Purchased golf disc and other equipment for 1050 from Taylor Company, payable in 30 days. So uh, in this exercise, we purchased equipment as well, but in this, uh, in this uh, date, uh, we purchased uh, this equipment on account. Since we purchased an equipment, so the equipment account will decrease. Now, uh, we purchased this equipment on account. What this mean? This mean uh, that we did not pay for this equipment. We, not, we did not pay the amount for the supplier. So we have to use the accounts payable. Which are the supplier's account. The supplier's account are increasing every time we are purchasing an account and are decreasing when we pay uh, the amount for the supplier. So we have uh, equipment is asset, so it has debit normal balance. In credit, we have accounts payable. These are the accounts of supplier. They are liabilities, accounts payable. They are accounts payable is considered as liability account. So when it is uh, increasing, it will be recorded in credit. It has a credit normal balance. The amount was 1050. May 18. Received 1100 in cash for gold fees. Uh, between the brackets, uh, uh, golf fees are recorded as service revenue. So when we say uh, golf fees, we have to record them in service revenue. So in this date, we received cash for 1,100. So cash is increasing on this date. And we have service revenue, which are increasing. So cash is decreasing, so it will be recorded in debit and service revenues uh, has a credit normal balance, so they are will be recorded in credit. The amount is 1,100. May 19. Received $5,000 cash from customers for services expected to be completed by the end of the current quarter. So we received cash, so the cash is increasing. But why we uh, did receive this cash? We received this cash for uh, uncompleted services. For services to be completed in the future, in the end of the current quarter. When we received cash for services not rendered yet, we have to record it under the liability account unearned service revenues.
So unearned service revenue is a liability account. So it is uh, increased in credit. So cash is increased. So cash and debit. And unearned service revenue and credit. The amount is 5000 May 25, paid cash dividends of 3,000 to stockholders. We, have, we are paying cash dividends, to, so the cash is decreasing. Uh, we pay this cash to stockholders as, as dividends. So the, uh, so the dividends account is increasing uh, since we are paying uh, uh, these dividends. So we have dividends. So uh, the entry is in the debit. We have dividends. And the credit cash for $3,000. May 30, paid salaries of 250. So we have cash as well. Cash is decreasing. So we are, since, since we are paying uh, money, so we are paying the salaries. Salaries are considered as expenses. So uh, every time, uh, as we previously explained, uh, every time we incur expenses, the expense account be increasing. We have salaries expense. So uh, the salaries expenses are expenses have debit normal balance. So since they are increasing, uh, they should be recorded in debit. And since we are paying cash, the cash is decreasing and is recorded in credit. The amount was 250. May 30, paid Taylor company in full. Who is, who is uh, Taylor? Taylor is the supplier of the transactions uh, on May 10. This is Taylor, our supplier. So on May 30, we paid uh, the amount due for this, uh, for this supplier. The, uh, the amount due to this supplier was 1,050. So the supplier account, which is accounts payable, is decreasing now since we are paying the amount to Taylor. And since we are paying, we have cash amount decreasing as well. And the debit. Uh, accounts payable is a liability account, so uh, it is recording in debit when they are uh, decreasing since it has a credit normal balance. So, uh, accounts payable in debit. Taylor, this is the account of our supplier, Taylor. And we paid the amount from cash. The amount was to uh, 1050 May 31, received 2,100 cash for, for uh, golf fees, as we previously uh, explained. Uh, they uh, informed us that the golf fees are recorded as, are recorded as service revenues. So we have service revenues plus so the golf fees are considered as service revenue and we received cash. So the cash account is positive as well. So it is increasing. So cash has a, a debit normal balance. So we record cash and debit and service revenues has a credit normal balance increases in credit. So service revenue and credit for 2,100, 2,100.